Hey, this is Dave, and this is going to be part two of the SQL tutorial. We're going to go over distinct wildcards and the like statement. Uh, let's start with this query we have here. Select city from adventureworks.person.address. Uh, let's execute it. As you can see, uh, some of the cities are showing up more than once. It's not really what I want, so all you have to do is put the distinct keyword before it. And as you can see, now uh, we're only getting one instance of each city. And the previous uh, query had returned thousands of results. This one has only 575 rows. Okay, let's move on to the like statement. You're going to use this often. Let's say where city like... And we're going to use our first wild card. Um, we're going to use the parent... Uh, percent sign which with ton after meaning anything before ton will match so we'll get uh, results like charleston and so forth let's execute it so as you see here all these cities here end in ton you can also put this uh, anywhere in the uh, statement let's put it at the at the end Let's say we want all results that start with TH. Okay, there's no cities that start with that, so let's try, let's see, uh, RE. So now we got all the cities that start with RE, like Reading, Reno, and Renton. Uh, the second thing I want to go over is the underscore. The underscore uh, is a wild card for exactly one character. So let's put an underscore, so match any first character followed by E-A-D-I-N-G that will give us reading. And like the other wildcards, you can put this uh, anywhere in the statement. The last thing I want to go over is a char list. So this one here would say anything from A to E would be the first... Um, first letter, or A, excuse me, A through E, first letter uh, in the matching city. So we're going to get results with all cities starting with anything from A to E. So here they are. There is another way you can do this too. Let's say anything that starts with either A, either M, or P. And there's our results. And there's also a not sign you can use with this. If you're using Oracle, it's going to be the exclamation point. However, we're using SQL Server, so it's going to be the caret. So let's say uh, anything that doesn't start with A through E. And there's our results. Or you could do something like uh, anything that doesn't start with A, M, or P. There you go. Okay, this is it for the second part of the tutorial. I'm going to make uh, a lot more episodes of this. Thanks for watching.